Evening all, um, we're going to do two sections tonight, a uh, post-match and then an embargoed pre-match for the game on Sunday. Who wants to get us started? Gary? Congratulations. Um, potentially bad news though, first, um, Cole Harmer did be having problems as he came off the pitch, he touched his right hamstring, had a little bit of news, he looked very happy on the way up as well, what can you tell me? No, first of all, uh, Thanks. Uh, no, Cole. Yeah, he had some. He felt something, but uh, he looks. He looks fine. Uh, they already check him. He looks fine. He looks okay. So, hopefully, it's not. Uh, it's not any problem, and he can be available for Sunday game. It's, a, it's obviously a positive result. Um, but at half time there were a few boos, and then there was a boo again when the ball was played back. Do you understand the, the frustration from fans at some time? Considering how much has gone on at the club, but have you got a message? Sir? No, no, no. The the, the the message is quite clear. Uh, we are in a moment that we are learning how to manage the game. Probably in some moment uh, was uh, the right thing was to do exactly the same thing, but in the opposite side. So for me, the intention to keep the ball is the correct one, especially when you you are two nil up. So it's the, the it's the intention is good, but probably where is not good in terms. So we try to manage the. Ball. Uh, it last 10 minutes, 50 minutes in our side, but we knew, we try we need to try to do exactly the same in the opposite side. So I can understand, but uh, I think overall it was important tonight to win the game, clean sheet. We did nine changes. We had players like Renato, Axel, Pedro, uh, even Mark, player that uh, Philip. That was first game for him, official game. So many good things. Is off. Those players you talk about, does it feel like it's a training experience a bit for them because they maybe need more time to get to know the system and all that? Yeah, no, yeah, I think uh, all of them they need more times to 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 get to to know better the system for sure, hundred percent. But tonight was also in terms of physical condition for some of them was not easy. But uh, as I said, I think the intention of the players to keep the ball was the good one. But uh, sometimes we we we. We need to do exactly the same, but uh, in the opposite side. And Noni Madueke scored a great goal. What do you think of him and, and, and his abilities? You know, is he a winger that you like him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like uh, Noni. Uh, the only problem with him probably is that he has to understand that he has to be cons consistency during the week, every t every training, every training, every training. But uh, yeah, he's it's a good player and he's doing well with us since we start. David. I had some uh, congratulations on the speed and other step forward, of course. What is the thing you like the most? No, I think uh, for some moment I really like the team on the ball and off the ball, especially at the beginning of the game. I think the team was very aggressive. We created some chances. We start exactly in the same way, second half. Uh, very aggress aggressive off the ball, on the ball. We we play we, for some moment. We play we played really well, but also because we are in a moment in the process, there are some moments that we can. Uh, manage better, and we struggle. But I think it's it's all normal. Simon, hey, uh, just back to to Nani. Is he definitely going to be staying at Chelsea? As there's a lot of talk of him perhaps being targeted by another club. Do you want him to stay beyond the? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I said, uh, but uh, the problem is the reality is that until, as I said already, as until the window transfer is open. Anything can happen, but for sure, Noni is a kind of player that uh, that I like. And, and have you had to talk to him? Because of course, Pedro Neto has come in. You played him, you started him on the right in Noni's position. Tonight. Have you had chats with him about? Yeah, we have. I said we have so many games that at the end, if it's not uh, today, will be the next one. If it's not the next one, will be the other one. We have so many games, and the important thing, as I said, uh, for Noni, I like him. He's doing well since we start with us. The only thing that he has to improve is that he has to uh, become consistency every day, every day, every day, work hard, and then uh, he will get minutes for sure. Roman. Um, Enzo, um, Cole Palmer, what did you make of him playing as a nine, and will we see him a lot more playing as a number nine or a false nine? 
Yeah, no, I think uh, the game first half was for Mark Guyu, our striker, because there was a lot of space for him to drop and to give us the extra man. He struggled a little bit, so the intention with Cole was to give him minutes as a number nine, but uh, he had to behave as a midfielder. So this was the intention. I think Cole, he, he, can, do, he can do very well. He already done in the past many, many times. So the reason why was for that. Ben? So when Mark Gay came off following that unfortunate miss, you seemed to have a hug and a smile for him. What did you say? No, I just uh, I was just uh, I just said to him that probably doesn't like easy goal. He likes difficult goal, but uh, it's, it's for me it's it's all normal. He's very young. He's 2006. He's the youngest one of the squad. But the way he works off the ball, he run a lot. He press, and doesn't matter. He's going to score for sure. Jacob and Zayt about Nani needed to be more consistent. Is that the same for, for Madrid? Because he, he looked like he had some good moments tonight and then some kind of more frustrating. Yeah, but uh, I think this is uh, Misha, this is Mudrik in terms of not only tonight, I think a little bit uh, since he joined the club, I think he had some good moment and then some moment. It's like, I don't know how to say in English, but it's like a tuck. When he has the ball, it's like tuck. You don't know if it's one thing or the other thing. And I think this is Misha in the moment that, as you said, he become more cons- consistency. He can he can give one step forward. It's been like that. It's been like that ever since he came here. You said that it, it never feels like it's going to change. One good thing and one bad thing. We're gonna try to help him to change. I think if he he, he has to understand uh, that we're gonna bring him the ball there in the last third, and when he's there taking the right decision because for me most of the mistake from Misha it's not about quality or technical mistake it's about the choice sometimes he has to play and he try to do something different and we lose the ball sometimes he has to go 1v1 and he, it's, it's about uh, decision maker but hopefully we can help him and he can improve that we'll do two more uh, second round Hi so um, it's been a great start to your Chelsea career first thing today um, but I want to talk about more important subjects What's life been like living in London? Have you settled in yet? Have you found a nice bar, pub nearby? What's life been like? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm living next to the training ground. Two minutes, three minutes. That is very easy from house to the training ground. The, the area where we stay with the training ground and the, the house is fantastic. It's very quiet. But uh, yeah, I, sp- I spend most of the day at the training ground. That is fantastic. Is that any sightseeing or...? Nothing like that. Say again? Have you done any sightseeing? Have you gone into London, Big Ben? Uh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Soon done. Mike, to finish us Back to football, if I may. Um, you dominated long periods of the game, and yet in the last 10 minutes, Servette yeah. had several chances to score. Were you a bit concerned that you almost blew your advantage in the last 10 minutes? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a bit worried. I think the last 10 minutes we played a little bit with the fire, because, as I said, uh, we could manage the game completely in different way, but uh, I suspected because we are in a moment that uh, uh, we are learning things. So I think was at the end was 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 a good thing because we didn't concede, but from there we can we can learn. And then we'll do a preview for Sunday's game, which is embargoed until one o'clock tomorrow.